Want to check out our latest Beyond Riders gear? I think when you're riding something like, you know, this 72 volt Suron, I think this brings you just another level of safety. That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with EV tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're doing our first impressions with the Beyond Riders protective flannel shirt. This lightweight checkered shirt was made to provide protection specifically for PEV riders. The shirt offers abrasion resistance and features CE certified armor pads for maximum protection. We also picked up their winter beanie and fingerless pro gloves, which we'll take a look at as well. In this video, we'll discuss the features and let you know whether the Beyond Riders protective flannel shirt is worth the price. And full disclosure, the clothing in this video was sent to us by Beyond Riders. We didn't purchase it with our own money. We haven't received any cash or other forms of compensation in exchange for this video. And no one has had any pre-approval or conditions on the contents of this video before it was released. So let's get to it. New package from Beyond Riders. Like before, it does come in this nice nylon drawstring bag. We have some protective pads right here, some stickers, some instructions. We have a Beyond Riders orange beanie. Very cool. This is like a burnt orange color. As you guys know, orange is our color for run playback, so this is perfect for the winter here in Michigan. On the beanie, you have this Beyond Riders embroidered patch, and you have a different orange colorway for the contrast. You have the see-through drawstring bag, and these are the Beyond Riders fingerless gloves. So this is a brand new item that they just released. The quality feels really good. All the materials look nicely stitched. These are the level one protective padding that's on the website. I believe these are the shoulder and elbow pads. And finally, we have the plaid shirt. Same size as last time, we got an extra small. This is 100% cotton on the outside and then 100% polyester with the lining. The inner lining is Kevlar. Similar to the summer mesh shirt from Beyond Riders, you have areas to fit the armor. So here in Michigan, you know, we rock the, uh, the plaid. Definitely kind of a popular pattern out here, but I definitely think that we can use this as a jacket because it is very thick. Always impressed with the quality of Beyond Riders. And I think these new fingerless gloves will definitely add to their collection, which looks good enough to wear and also protects you. So let's go over the specs. The Beyond Riders protective flannel shirt is made from 100% cotton flannel for comfort and breathability. The inner lining is made with a mix of polyester mesh and DuPont Kevlar in the pads area for maximum abrasion resistance. The lining also has partition pockets for removable CE approved pad protectors. There's two inner pockets and two outer chest snap pockets. There's also two zipper vents under the arms for airflow. On the bottom is a microfiber cloth to easily clean your sunglasses or helmet goggles. So let's try the Beyond Riders flannel shirt. This flannel shirt I saw on their website a while ago. Uh, this came out before the summer mesh shirt and I really liked how it looked. I mean, you know, it is sort of the typical red and black plaid, but I did like the fit of it when I saw on Mr. Central Driver's YouTube channel. I wanted to order one for myself. And this is an extra small, similar to the summer mesh shirt in the last video. This is what it looks like without any armor in it. And it fits perfect for me. It's not too baggy, it's not too small. I won't zip it all the way up because I have my mic there, but that's kind of what it looks like. And this is what it looks like from behind. Chest pockets over here. You have a little bit of branding with this pack. Underneath the arm, you have these uh, zippers right here goes all the way down. I believe the outside is 100% cotton and inside is polyester and Kevlar. And you also have this pocket over here. You have this thing over here to clean your glasses, some microfiber. You also have another zippered pocket. You also have these um, straps over here. So if you buy the Beyond Riders pants, they attach over here. And in the chance of a crash, everything sort of stays as one piece. The quality is just like our summer mesh shirt, just really, really comfortable. It's not that hot out right now. It's maybe like 60 degrees. You can wear a sweat sweatshirt, a hoodie, and I think that might be all you need depending on where you live. So let's see what it looks like with the armor on. So we got this chest protector and the way you install it is you put the smaller side in first. So you just unhook the Velcro here, slide it in like so, and then you just connect the Velcro back. For the arms, you're gonna 
turn it inside out. We got the level one protectors for this kind of shirt. We do have the level two from the last shirt that we got. So we figured we wanted to try the level one, see how that feels. So it is a little bit thinner, maybe not as protective, but still pretty strong nonetheless. And it looks like the shoulder and the elbow pads are the same dimensions. The pointy side in first, the shoulder. Install it like this. The elbow pad, open up the pocket, pointy side in first. Slide it all the way in, then fasten it shut. Then you take the sleeve and you bring it back outside, just like that. That will do the other side. Okay, pointy side in first, same thing over here. And then we turn it inside out. Now let's put the shirt on and see how it looks with the armor. So it definitely feels a little bit bulkier, but it's not too tight. It's kind of just right for me. <laughs> It's not too bulky. I mean, it doesn't feel bulky. I'm sure it looks maybe a little bit bulkier, but if you do fall, you never want to put your arms out. That's how you get hurt. Just kind of want to roll with it. The padding feels like it would definitely absorb any of that kind of shock. This is how it looks like when I'm sitting on the bike. Very comfortable in my riding position and I definitely feel protected when I'm riding. So a few other items that we got. So these are the brand new Beyond Riders riding gloves. As you can see, it has this Velcro strap with this reflective material over here. So when light shines on it, cars will be able to see you. You have this part over here, which I think is some kind of like palm protection with this like little plastic piece, these two plastic pieces over here. You have this knuckle protection here and then finger protection with these plastic or rubberized pads on this side. And then you have the Beyond Riders logo on top. We bought a small, which is a little bit too small. I think uh, a medium probably would have fit a little bit better. You also have these pieces over here, these rubberized almost rings, even more protection. I think if you slide or something like that. And then we also got this Beyond Riders beanie. We got the orange beanie. So it is going to be winter here in Michigan very, very soon. It is warm today, but in a few weeks, it's going to get super cold. And of course, we want to have a nice beanie to keep us warm. And you got the embroidered logo on top. This is the second time we've reviewed their products. The quality is just really, really nice. The packaging is really nice. Customer service, excellent. In terms of looks, the shirt has the classic red checkered pattern. And in terms of weight, it feels much more like a jacket than a shirt. We ordered an extra small, which is a good fit, even while wearing a sweatshirt and with the armor pads installed. And even though it's lightweight, this can also be used during the fall and even winter, depending on where you live. And riding with the shirt does offer a certain level of confidence. E-bike falls happen and they're usually not at high speeds. And while most riders wear helmets, protecting your body from abrasions is also important to avoid road rash, which can be extremely painful. So now that we've covered the specs, let's take it out for a ride. All right, so today we're talking about the Beyond Riders protective flannel shirt. This is the second product that we're reviewing from Beyond Riders. In the first video we did, it was a protective summer mesh shirt. So there's some similar materials with this shirt. Obviously the design is different. You have the red checkered sort of black pattern, which is a classic pattern for, you know, lumberjack style shirts or jackets, which uh, I like and I have a lot of stuff that matches it. I believe this shirt is mostly 100% cotton on the exterior. Whereas the summer mesh shirt had a combination of cotton and polyester. Otherwise, the fit is pretty identical. Um, it's about 65 degrees here in Michigan, which is unusual for November. So it's not really that cold out, but it is perfect fall weather for the thickness of this shirt. You guys notice I am wearing a heavyweight hoodie underneath this shirt and there's no issues, kind of fits, you know, just right. And I am an extra small in the Beyond Rider shirt. So if you do plan on wearing something thick underneath this thing, uh, definitely try to size up if you can. Highly recommended. Uh, overall, the comfort level is perfect. I mean, I am wearing the armor. Uh, it doesn't feel bulky. It doesn't feel like it's restricting my movements when I'm steering or anything like that. So, uh, perfect fit. I'm also using the level one armor. So I think that might have to do with some of the comfort. It's not as thick as the level two, but um, you know, for the roads I'm on here, which is maxing out at like 25, 30 miles per hour, I think this is uh, the right amount of armor that we need. So we are wearing the fingerless gloves. 
And uh, again, really comfortable. I think uh, if it was any colder, I think it might be an issue in terms of like, you know, fingers getting numb and that kind of thing. But right now, 65 degree weather, uh, the figureless gloves are perfect. And I do feel protected. They are a little bit tight though. I, um, I think I ordered a size a little too small. I ordered a small, I think I'm a medium. So just something to think about when you're ordering the gloves. So it is kind of windy right now, but I don't think it affects um, the temperature inside of the shirt. I feel really, really comfortable. No issues there. So do you actually need an armored shirt when you're riding, you know, like these uh, light electric vehicles? I think when you're riding something like, you know, this 72 volt Suron or something that's a little high powered, I think this brings you just another level of safety outside of wearing a helmet. Um, I've been pretty fortunate to not have fallen too many times on this bike, but I think if I was wearing something like this Beyond Riders Protective shirt, uh, I'd prevent road rash or even more serious injuries. So I think it's worth it. I think it's also, you know, pretty stylish. This is something that I would definitely wear even if it didn't have armor. And because of that, I think I'd be more inclined to put this shirt on than maybe, you know, a full-blown leather jacket or something that's a little bit bulkier. So that reason alone is why I think, you know, choosing this shirt was the right decision for me. It might be different for you. And the quality of the packaging really speaks volumes on, I think, the amount of care that Beyond Riders puts into their products. So, yeah, I mean, they keep increasing their line with uh, new and interesting things, and I look forward to kind of seeing what they do next. I know they have uh, some flannel shirts that are sized for women. So, you know, having more items that are accessible to more people other than just dudes, I think is a, a good sign of a company that's really thinking about what their riders want. So if you want a level of protection that's somewhere between wearing no armor and a full leather moto jacket that's comfortable and highly functional, the Beyond Riders Protective Flannel Shirt is a solid recommend. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.